I'm loving the setup, looking more professional. You're a two-time reality TV <laughs> contestant now. It's all good. Yes, it's all good. Life is good no matter what, man. I don't care if I got my ass kicked in the sand. It's all good. I'm happy, man. I got put on a show to challenge you and say that, you know, a show that I used to watch when I was in high school, dude. I remember watching Bananas and West. I stopped watching it for a while. And then I see, then I meet Josh in an event before um, my, my season aired. And he's like, yeah, I'm on the challenge now. I won Big Brother. I'm on the challenge. And I'm like, that show's still going on? Oh, my God. I love that you show. You're one of those guys that I'm sure yes. when you said they were on The Amazing Race, people are like, that show's still on? Yes. You're the one doing that now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's still going on strong. But yeah, and the, and the challenge is way more popular, I feel like, than the Amazing Race. But anyways, um, but yeah, so I'm just like, what? And then to be on that show, and then the, my season, they bring in, you know, I was ready to do a, a USA season one, Mike. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. look, all right, that's more my style. Everybody's a rookie. Everybody's from CBS. And then they bring in these juggernauts from mtv and i'm just like what did i get myself into but it was fun man it was fun it was cool well i want to start with where it ended because i had made the assumption look i i like you have watched this a good amount of times and i was like there's no way it couldn't have just been one round of you versus chris <laughs> winner takes all and yeah I, some people were posting online that it seemed like not only was that not the case but you did better i think than what was shown on screen so talk to me about like what actually amounted to the battle between you and Chris there with the evil eye? Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. It was not just one round. It was it was a three-round match, and it went three rounds. So, uh, yeah, it went all three rounds. Um, we had um, – so I actually got the first point, Mike. I was actually mm -hmm. the first point. But it, it was uh, – it, um, the first point was easier for me because um, the evil eye was hanging in the middle of the ring, right? So you see the uh, – and we're standing on opposite sides. So the, the first round, we had to run to the center, grab it, and then – uh, reach outside the ring to score the point. So here I had my advantage of speed. So uh, TJ um, blows the horn. I run to the middle. I grab the evil eye before Chris could grab it. And he was going to reach for me. And I did like a spin move. And then he kind of bounced off me. And I was able to score the first point rather quickly. Oh, I was shocked okay. they didn't show that, man. I was like, what? <laughs> like, how do they not show? And then, and then Chris came back and just... And then we had to start the second and third rounds. We start from the center, like like what you saw on TV. Um, and and Chris is just a badass, dude. And he came back and scored the last two points on me. I was very disappointed when he didn't show the whole match, the whole elimination. It was such a great elimination. It lasted a while. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened. To be fair, there was a lot going on in the last episode. And I, I want to talk about yeah. part of that, which is, the entire red deliberation. And there's a couple of fronts that I want you to speak on because some was coming from two sides. There's the Josh angle, which you had said you had had a relationship going in and he clearly was on this path partially to protect Wes, but I think partially yeah. to like go against you for saying his name. And then you also have the dusty side of things, the lone amazing racer who yeah. doesn't vote against you, but he doesn't necessarily vote for you. I'm imagining all these thoughts were coming into your head as you see that you are the ball that was picked for the second time. Talk to me through that. Oh, so yeah, when I saw my ball, I was just like, I, I, I was very shocked, Mike, because it, it, it was, um, I thought I had numbers. I thought I had numbers. The three girls, um, you know, um, I thought I made good relationships with, and then I had Dusty. Uh, and in there, I knew Josh was coming after me. You know, Josh, and Josh is good. Josh is good at this game. He he finds out uh, who votes for him. He gets his way. Um, and I I don't hate Josh for that at all. There's a long story of me and Josh from the beginning because we're both guys from Miami. And I tried to work with him from the beginning. He didn't want to work with me. I picked the side. I'm not just going to, you know, be here and waiting for you to, to help me out like I'm some little puppy or something. No, I pick a side. I'm going to go ahead and go against you. And he came against me, but he won, right? He won at the end of the day, which I'm not mad about. Um, um, the dusty part, I am disappointed with dusty a hundred percent. I, I, I would have flipped the table for dusty in an elimination. I would have done whatever it took to, uh, keep us safe, to keep him safe. Um, I, I feel like, um, at the end of the day, I think dusty was, I mean, as you see, he, he was aligning himself more with these bets mm -hmm. and I was not. I was not. The bets came at me early. I try to work with Josh, so I picked the side, and he didn't really communicate that with me. And it, I did not, I did not find that out until later. That pretty much until my name was called in, that he didn't want to put Wes's name in, um, and he 
by by that, you know, I get put in. He could have saved me. He could have saved me and Desi. He chose not to do that. He chose to play his game. And that's what he chose, Mike. And what else can I do? Did you have a conversation with him after everything came out? What was yeah. his response when you probably asked him, hey, what the hell happened in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, We're at the kitchen table and, and D- I asked Dusty what happened. And Dusty said, hey, man, I try to save you. And then Chanel was sitting on the other side of the table. And she completely grilled Dusty. She's like, that's bullshit, Dusty. You did not try to save him. We had a chance to save him. And you didn't do your your job. And she completely gave it to Dusty while we were sitting there on the kitchen table. And I was um, I was shocked. I was shocked. And I was like, this disbelief. I pulled Dusty to the side. You know, he told me, hey, look, man, I tried. Please don't, don't believe her. I tried. I tried. And oh, we see the truth. We see the truth comes out. Um, and everybody in the house knows how much I, I, um, I was protecting Dusty and it's, 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 it's sad, you know, it's sad because I, I, he, he, I told him everything. I told him everything. He was my number one in that house. Um, but I guess he didn't feel the same way. So you talked about some of your relationships. I would love to talk more about that because it was something we didn't necessarily see. Were you affiliated with this, like secret garden cbs alumni thing uh what was sort of the the key alliances or strategic relationships you had in the house my my key alliance is the Alyssa l alliance whatever she told me to do i will do (laughs) which i guess is sort of related to the secret garden then because she's sort of then related by proxy i guess i had no idea that was the game the secret garden was the very secret name so uh Alyssa l i if she would have told me lewis go jump off the roof of the house right now i would have done it like whatever you got to do, girl. That girl saved me the the second time around. Um, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the the second time we didn't win, um, and she and she really had my back. She was very emotional when my name got called the first time, um, and and I trusted that girl with everything, with everything. Um, uh, so yeah, my my game plan was to do whatever Alyssa L told me to do, <laughs> and I what? guess yeah. What was the dynamic like on green in general? Because it seemed like there was so much duplicity happening. You know, we see this first meeting where Wes, you know, is trying to push this, this keep the vets in. You all rebel against him. This last time you have this complete shocker where Desi is like lying to Wes and Amanda's faces of, yeah, you know, send in blue. And then she turns everything on Amanda. What was your sense as to like where everything lay within green proper considering all these elements? Oh man, I want to talk about that Amanda vote. Oh, please, it was yeah. it was so funny because the 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 episode before Amanda voted for Monty. There mm-hmm. were more green votes than red votes, and we knew that was Amanda. And we were just like, we had a team meeting. West tried to sit everybody together, and he was just like, "Hey guys, look, we all know the numbers." We all saw the numbers. I suggest we just forget about it. I suggest we we call a mulligan and just don't let it affect our next play. And we're all just like, that's not going to happen, Wes. Wes was just trying to save Amanda's ass because Amanda was voted for Monty. So um, did we plan so ahead of time to vote for Amanda? No. But once we saw Desi go in and Amanda sucked three out of the four challenges. I love Amanda to death. Me and her got kicked out at the same time. But I told her this in person. I'm like, Amanda, dude, like, how are you going to do that to us? We had your back. Uh, the green team had your back. You voted for Monty and you sucked that challenge. So, of course, we're going to put you in. So the whole everybody just agreed to put in Amanda. And when she found out, uh, that was so funny. I, I couldn't stop laughing. What was the other part of the question, Mike? Yeah. So talk to me about the general dynamics of green, because you have these vets in Wes and Amanda seemingly yeah. not really being listened to. I know that you were affiliated with like the alliance that involved Michaela and Desi. How are things breaking down from your perspective? Oh, I think green team. We still, we still, we still rocked it though. We knew everybody had their, their own um, goals in mind, right? We knew Wes wasn't, wasn't, you know, part of, part of our alliance technically, but we still had his back. Like we were not going to put in Wes. Wes was a great part, an uh, essential part of our team. And that dude is awesome. I hated, I hated him on TV. I loved him in person. <laughs> I absolutely love that man. He's great. Um, so, but we had everybody's back. Like we never had a ball thrown it, um, in our own way. We had Amanda's back as well. Once Amanda slipped, that's when we, uh, decided to, to vote for her. But overall, the dynamic was good. You know, we all had each other's back without trying to sabotage our, our, our games on the side, I guess. 
Last thing I want to ask, and you referred to this a bit earlier with your elimination, but what is something from your own story that you wish had made the edit for us to see, whether it's comedic, strategic, personal, et cetera? I just wish um, they would have showed how much I talked about my wife, you mm. know, and and I thought for sure they're going to show our first phone call where when I saw her face, Mike, I, I, I've we've been together for 14 years. Yeah. I have talked to her every single day. Even when she went on tour with Pitbull, I still talked to her. I still FaceTimed her. This is the first time where I go two weeks without talking to her, without seeing her face. When I saw her face on, on that FaceTime screen, I was sobbing like a baby. I was a child. I, I thought they were going to show that for sure. And I always talked about how much she motivated me, how much I, I always talked about how much I loved her. Um, and, and yeah, I, yeah, I wish they would have shown that a little bit more, show, show how much I loved her and, and people, and people that saw the race know that like we didn't fight on the race. We, 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 we listened to each other. We have compassion towards each other. You know, we, we did great with one another and she was my motivation. And I just wish they would have showed that a little bit more. That's interesting. Cause I know last season we definitely got like the FaceTime from contestants. We haven't really seen it yet, but those were still happening, even though we didn't get to see them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that yet. And they have that new confessional room that they're doing yeah. now. You notice that? So they, they're getting a few confessionals. I was in there all the time. They didn't show none of mine. <laughs> I was getting attacked from the beginning. I felt like I felt all by myself. I felt lonely. I was like, let me go to confessional room and let out some stuff. But they didn't show uh, that either. 